Alex Riddle says, does ChatGPT represent the materializing of prophecy or something like that? You ask a mundane questions and it provides a mundane response. But the way the AI reaches that response is shrouded in mystery. So it has something of the mystery element of prophecy, even if the actual response is anything but prophetic. Any other AI related thoughts would also be appreciated. Yeah, for sure. Everybody's thinking about AI right now, right? Because it's crazy and it's happening fast. In some ways, AI can can kind of help us understand something that I think many people don't understand. I think that AI can probably help us understand uh, divination better uh, because in some ways it's kind of a hyper divination. Um, it's a mirror. It's like a complex, it's like a, it's like a mirror uh, of chaos that, is can be imprinted with a question like can be imprinted with our mind structure and then it reflects back um, the answer you could say and so in some ways i think there's definitely a relation between you know staring into a crystal ball people can think i'm crazy to say that uh uh but divination is usually a kind of chaos right it's actually a you know, throwing bones or, you know, tossing dice or whatever, and then being able to, with a question, to interpret the result. Uh, and so I think that it's a very complex version of something like that. Um, at least that's my, because it doesn't know, right? It just doesn't know. It's just data. And it's just, it's just basically capable of, of perceiving relationships based on its training, which is trained by our human intelligence. So humans have told it what it's, what's good, you know, over and over. Uh, and then that, you know, and, and the frame has been provided for it. And then that frame kind of holds the whole thing together, but it doesn't know, you know. So, yeah. So, yeah, I wouldn't say prophecy. I would say divination is better than prophecy in terms of understanding or at least seeming, at least kind of trying to approach what, what I think is happening. And I think like divination, one of the problems with divination is that it's captured, right? It's like the genie, the problem with the genie. It's like you think you want the genie to give you what you want, but you, you really don't. You don't want the genie to give you what you want with infinite power because it will destroy you. And I think the genie story is the best way to understand the problem of AI. And it's just starting. It's going to, it's going to, ex, it's going to explode and things are going to get crazy very fast. Um, and the other problem is, of course, the hidden, the hidden part in the sense of the notion that, you know, the people that are training the AI are not gods like they're not god they're not objective they have their own biases and those biases it's as if you're giving right it's as if you're giving a nuclear weapon to your bias it's like you're you're giving infinite power to your biases so whatever little bias you have now give it all this power and all this data and all these connections it's like then it gets amplified and maybe you don't even know your bias maybe you're actually unconscious to it it doesn't matter. It still get amplified incredibly. In so it's like if you want what you would want, like with an AI, is you would want like like you know a philosopher king to be behind the AI. You'd want a very wise man to be the one training the AI. But obviously that's not happening, right? What you've got are nerds and and people who want to make a lot of money. That's what you've got. So that's not the right. That's not the best intent. For this stuff. So so Yvonne Engel says, Vin Armani said the iPhone is the new gin oil lamp. Yeah. Yeah, Vin is right on that. I think he's right about the idea that in some ways uh, that it's already there. Like to in the story of the genie is the idea that it, it, it rises out of technology. It rises out of a, of a container, a technical container, uh, because that's what a technical container is. A technical container. A technical thing is an increase in power in itself, right? An oil lamp is the way to have light at night. You can't have light at night. It's dark. So what do you do? You make a supplement. You make a technical object that will provide more power to you and will be able to give you light at night. And so the genie and the oil lamp 
you know, the genie is just a extrapolation of what technology gives you already. But like times a thousand, times a million or whatever. And so and so his 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 insight, I think Vin's insight is completely right. Mm-hmm.